Hey guys, it's Drew with the Houston Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we'll be at the Houston Money Show. Uh, let's get this video started. Alright guys, so we ended up buying a few cool coins so far, mainly type coins. We ended up buying some Carson City seated halves. We ended up buying a uh, a nice old holder, it's a 1876 seated half that's in a doily holder. And I also bought a pretty cool 1885 proof 3 cent nickel. Uh, 3 cent nickels are tougher in 85 when they're business strikes over proofs, but this one had some good color to it, so uh, nice little pickup so far. Let's continue with the show. Okay guys, we're going to show you some more buys from the show. It's about a hundred, a hundred Franklin half dollars. Proofs and business strikes. So not only was the show off to a good start with buying some seated halves, but we also ended up buying a bunch of Franklin half dollars as well. We were set up with a dealer, his name's David Holcomb. And he said, hey, I got, a, I got about 100 Franklin half dollars that I want to show you guys. You guys can just put your numbers on them and we can work from there. And so we ended up buying almost every Franklin half dollar from him. All right, guys. So this is the more common Franklins that we ended up buying. And they're going to be listed on eBay. If we listed all these coins on our website, it'd be too much for you guys to see all of it and be able to see all the other new purchases that we got. So we ended up putting these Franklins on the website, just better Rattlers, OGHs, better dates, uh, nicer looking coins, just so you have the cream of the crop to pick from. If you guys are interested in more common stuff like this, make sure to check out our eBay down below. Here are two tougher dates for Rattlers, 1954-1955, proof Franklin halves, and uh, just nice looking coins in older holders and... Uh, these uh, ended up being just affordable, nice looking coins. Hopefully you guys enjoy stuff like this. Make sure to check it out. So when you're starting off with these shows, you kind of want to already pay for all your expenses up front. So just getting the doily covered all, all of our expenses and then getting these Franklins was also a good thing for us. Uh, a few other things from the show, it was really busy. A lot of people were excited to be there, excited to buy some coins. Um, it feels like it's been a few months since we've had a show in Houston, so uh, there's a lot of people asking us about pricing, and then there was a lot of people selling us stuff at the table. Nothing crazy, you know, uh, junk silver here and there, small little cheap slabs, but uh, we also got to meet with somebody that we ended up buying a coin from recently. It was the 1927S Standing Liberty Quarter. We got it cacked. Uh, we talked with the guy we bought it from, and we felt like it was best, me and Casey, to give him some money for... Uh, selling us the coin and it's stickering. Um, we ended up selling that coin here recently and so the least we could do is give him a little bit of money on top of what he made for the coin. We also got to sit down with a collector that watches our channel. He's watching our channel for over a year now. He doesn't like that I talk too much but he does like the coins that we share and that's all that matters sometimes. He ended up selling us some DMPL Morgan dollars, um, some better date Morgan dollars at a little bit lower grade and he said, hey, you know, I bought these a few years ago. Just give me a fair price. I think we ended up buying 12 or 13 Carson City Morgan dollars from him. So the show was phenomenal. We had so much fun with our friends. And we ended up buying a ton of coins to show you guys. We bought over 100 coins at the show. And so let's take a few minutes. Let's show you guys the highlights. We hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys. So the first coin I want to show you is this 1876 Carson City seated half dollar. Definitely one of my favorite coins from the whole show. Beautiful, original, tough coin to find in any uh, condition, but this coin, especially with all of its originality, really jumped out at us, and it really fits in with what we wanted to buy. Up next is an 1890cc Morgan Dollar, grade G6 by PCGS. It is a tail bar which means there's a slight little thing that they added there that ended up being on the Morgan dollar. It's uh, just a cool little addition, um, and that's why they call it the tail bar. And there's not a whole lot of these that are offered, especially uh, in higher grades, so buying a lower grade one's always pretty cool. 
We ended up buying two of those, which is nice. Up next is this 1861, three cent silver. It's got rainbow toning on both sides of the coin. We love type coins with nice color, and this one was really cool. A vest pocket dealer near us stopped by the table and showed us this beautiful coin. Paid up for it, but we thought it was worth it. Next coin, which is a head scratcher, is this 1878 CC Morgan dollar, graded Men's State 63 proof like. I think it's super close to dimple. I think it should have dimpled, but um, that's just the way it is. Let me know what you guys think of this coin down below. When I saw this coin and it's saying uh, PL, I thought, you know, hey, we should buy it just because it looks, it's probably the nicest PL out on the floor and it has a really nice date. Up next is a 27D, Standing Liberty Quarter, graded Mint State 64. Has rainbow toning on both sides of the coin. And, uh, you know, just adds a little bit of character to it, which is pretty cool. Then we have this Better Date 1926S Buffalo Nickel, graded VF20. Good detail, nothing really distracting about the coin. Just nice, wholesome, very fine. Better date. Then we have this 1817 cap bust half, graded fine 15 by PCGS, CAC approved. A lot of these coins, it's really tough to get a sticker on, so I'm getting a little bit of an earlier date, and it looking this good is always a fun thing to pick up. Then we have this 1885 three cent nickel, graded proof 66. It's got some really beautiful toning on both sides of the coin. Definitely has some great character to it. A dealer said he wanted to buy a business strike, and he bought this one as a business strike, which uh, business strikes are a lot more expensive in 85 than proofs are, but it ended up grading proof 66 for him, which kind of sucks. He's losing some money, but we ended up buying a pretty cool coin from him nonetheless. Then we have this 1936 Walking Liberty Half, graded Mid State 66 by PCGS. Strong luster, nice looking coin, a little bit of a tougher date to run into, and so we wanted to give it a shot, and we're actually selling this one back a gray sheet bid. Then we had this Better Date 1893 CC Morgan Dollar, graded G4. Definitely a, a low ball type of coin, but a tougher date to run into again, especially when you're at shows. A lot of these coins are already spoken for, already sold, and the customers already have them. But when you can lay these out in the case or put them on the website, and there's always someone that's very interested in affordable better dates. Then we have this 1858 seated half dollar grade AU58 by NGC. CAC approved once again. Just nice, wholesome, original looking coin. Ended up buying a ton of seated halves like you guys might have seen in this video so far. Can't wait to show you guys some more. Then we have a few buffaloes to show you. There's 38D. It's got a purple and blue toning to it on both sides of the coin. And it's going to have the same type of scenario for this 37S. It has like a greenish blue on the obverse. Definitely a nice looking coin. Then we have a 37P. We ended up buying just a nice little run of older holder uh, 30s buffalo nickels. And uh, always a great coin to add to someone that's starting out a set. Then we have this 1929D, Standing Liberty Quarter, Great Mid State 65. Just a nice looking gem, Standing Liberty Quarter in an OGH. Didn't see too many problems with the coin. Not really a big jump if you were to send it in for CAC, but just nice and beautiful. Then we have another better date, CC dollar, 1879 CC. It's a cap die, graded VG8. Overall, very original looking. A few kind of bigger hits out in the field on the obverse of the coin. But just a nice classic original example. Then we have a mid-grade 82cc Morgan dollar, graded VF30. It seems like there's a lot of people out there that love the original look to these coins. They don't want to buy a BU one necessarily. They just wanted to buy one that looked a little bit nicer and circulated. And uh, this one definitely fit all those criteria for us. 
Then we have a few nicer coins here, which is this 1884 CC Morgan Dollar Graded Mint State 63 Dimple. Nice little dimple for sure. Love the fields on this coin. Love the black and white contrast, as most collectors do. And uh, yeah. Then we have an 1884 CC Morgan Dollar Graded Mint State 64 Dimple. Nice clean cheek apart from that little striation down underneath the ear. The luster is phenomenal and once again those fields are just jumping out at you. Then we have this 1818 Capos Tap, graded VF20. Almost identical to the 1817 apart from a little bit of the white that's kind of trailing on this coin. Has a little bit more detail than that coin but definitely a beauty. Then we have a little bit more of a run here of 76 cc Carson, 76 cc seated halves, and a VG8, another VG8. We have an XF40, and we also have a fine 15. So if someone's wanting to buy a 76 cc, we definitely have them all that we could buy. So we have this 1876 seated half dollar graded mid state 63, gorgeous OGH CAC. And uh, has some light toning in the fields. Then we have this 1882cc, Great Mint State 63 Dimple. Just, uh, you know, they're pretty identical to the 83 and the 84 that we just showed you guys. The collector was very picky about what he bought. And this coin is really nice. Then we have uh, an 1858 Seated half dollar graded AU55 CAC and a 58O graded AU53 CAC. Nice looking type coins. Another ones that are very tough to find with a green bean. Then we have the next tail bar to show you guys real quick. Just that little addition down there underneath the arrows. A few more buffalo nickels. These are just nice, affordable coins that you can just make five or ten bucks on sometimes. And so, wanted to buy those for you guys. And then we have two other dimples here an OGH. And this one's just a plain old Mint State 64 Plus. Really close to gem, but definitely a nice, flashy white coin. Thank you guys for taking a look at all of our purchases from the Houston Money Show. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts. On the coins we had to share today, did you enjoy them? Make sure to subscribe because we're coming out with videos every single week. We want you guys to be a part. We'll see you guys on Wednesday when we have the CAC submission reveal. We hope you enjoy that. We'll see you then.